Jennifer Hensey is a medical marijuana user from Michigan, and she's also a medical caregiver for five patients. And recently, a drug task force raided her home and, quote, kept every belonging she owned, including her vibrator, even after a judge dismissed the charges against her. Wow. So she testified in front of the Michigan House Judiciary Committee and explained that her neurologist had recommended medical pot to treat pain that she had from multiple sclerosis. And she's also registered in the state of Michigan as a caregiver for five other patients, which gives her the ability to distribute medical marijuana. And all of that apparently did not matter because her home was raided and it was raided in front of her four kids. So the charges against her were dropped, but understand that because of civil asset forfeiture, all of her belongings are gone. They've been gone for 10 months and counting. And the prosecutor even said to her when they were at court over this, quote, well, I can still beat you in civil court. I can still take your stuff. So understand what happened here. Here you have a person who smokes medical marijuana because they have multiple sclerosis. Here's a person who's a distributor of medical marijuana because they have a license and they do that as a job. And the government decided, no, we are against her for reasons we will not describe, we will not explain. We're going to charge her and we're just going to take all of her shit. Why? Because we feel like it. And we can, within the guidelines of federal law and uh, civil asset forfeiture law, we can do it. So we're going to do it. This is exactly the kind of big government that Republicans, conservatives, and everybody should be scared of. This is tyranny. This is fascism. This is people's rights being taken away. This is government that's too big and getting involved in your private life and your personal life. This is a per She wasn't hurting anybody. She was smoking weed for medical purposes. By the way, even if it wasn't for medical purposes, whoop de freaking do I still don't give a fuck. She could smoke all day if she damn well pleases. She's, you know, giving out medical marijuana. She has a license to give it out. She's not hurting anybody. This is somebody who's on the same moral level as, you know, your local convenience store that sells 40 ounces. She's not hurting anybody, not doing anything wrong, not being violent in any way, shape, or form, not scam scamming anybody. It's somebody who's just living a, a, a normal life, but because we have these archaic, draconian, idiotic laws, the federal government steps in and says, I don't care about the state laws, I don't care about common sense, I'm going to crack down because I can, and I'm going to steal shit. Now understand there's another angle to this story, and that angle is, under civil asset forfeiture laws, there are uh, some places that can use it to fund their own police departments, for example. There was, uh, you know, an article I saw about this the other day. I think it's in Mississippi. There's a town that bought a $4.1 million police uh, station or police building, a, a government agency building, that was paid for all with civil forfeiture money. Now, the old idea behind civil forfeitures was, okay, if you come across a drug cartel or something, and but you can't prove it immediately that they're guilty and you don't want them to take all their belongings and put them away or whatever, you're allowed to just take all of it. But what's the problem with that? The problem with that is you flip the burden of proof, which is inherently un-American. All of a sudden, it's not innocent until proven guilty. Now it's guilty until proven innocent. And we're talking about laws that shouldn't exist in the first place, which makes it even more immoral. Because it's not like you're seizing the assets of some fucking crazy serial killer who's got 12 heads in their refrigerator. You're seizing the assets of people who are smoking weed for medical purposes and selling weed for medical purposes and even if it's for recreational purposes it's still fucked up it's just as fucked up as walking into somebody's house you see that they have some gin on their counter and you go nice i'm gonna take your couch your tv all of your your money which is in savings i see you got five thousand dollars in your bedroom there and i'm just gonna take everything sorry what we've done is we have legalized robbery and we need to change these laws immediately at a state level and a federal level because they don't make any sense. This is an area where the left and the right can come together and say, enough.